Hi, I'm Madison Baum. I'm a senior on the women's basketball team. And here's a throwback to our 1,000th win on December 7, 2019 against Guilford women's basketball team. So leading up to this game, I remember it a lot. I remember seeing the 999 sign on the wall and we just really wanted to break through and get that 1,000th win. And you know, Guilford's a really historically strong school um, competition-wise with women's basketball. And they came in and they really didn't have any losses, I don't think, so um, it was really good. Good afternoon. Welcome to Nineger Hall. Bleed now, Crimson game here as the Bridgewater women take on the Guilford Quakers. If you're able to speed Guilford up, and I think that's that's probably the aim. That game really kicked off uh, our conference play. Uh, we ended up going on a, a huge win streak uh, through December and January. Uh, gave our team a ton of confidence, obviously beating a team like Guilford, who's talented year in and year out. Um, but it, it just kind of propelled us, uh, both sides of the ball. We were pretty good defensively that game, holding some of... Um, some of the better players at Guilford, like Miracle Walters, who's an all-conference player. Uh, but then even offensively, showing that we have multiple threats. Um, in the fourth quarter of the game, Madison Baum and Aaliyah Moon uh, just kind of put us on their shoulders scoring. Mary Ruth hit a couple huge shots, Mary Ruth Shiflett. Um, and then Lindsay Estes, a uh, sophomore as well, uh, scored seven straight points, and, and that certainly helped us uh, gain confidence in that game. So it showed that we had multiple threats and multiple scores, which again helped us throughout uh, December and into January with that, that stretch of games. It's open for three. It's good. Oh, instant offense. All right. Lindsay Estes out of the gate. All of a sudden, it's a one-point ball game. The pass Another down steal. low, stolen away. Estes looking to go all the way. She will, takes it up, and it goes. No foul. There should have been an and one. Yeah. Yeah. Count the bucket there. A little. Seven straight points for the Eagles after the timeout, and they lead. Wow. Lynn on the outside, harassed by Baum. Comes near side to Davis. Davis bounces it down low, backing in. Nice spin by Walters. It's partially blocked. Gets it back, now stolen away. No, it'll still be. Here's the three-point bomb, and it's good as Davis nails another triple. She can shoot it. That was deep and kind of contested. Eagles into the front court. Dietz is open for three. That's got the net. Eagles up 10 to 9. Whatever you can do, we can do. That's right. All of a sudden, it's a track meet and a shooting contest as Lynn comes front court. Right side to Roberts, holding over her head. Up top now to Walters. Bounces to Davis with Dietz on her. She'll go up top. Ball's deflected. Winds up in Aaliyah Moon's hands. we will go the other way. Moon is going to go all the way. Shot off the glass is good. He goes up by three. They're just driving right on him. What a run. Led by the bench from Bridgewater. Yeah. 12 straight points off the bench. Davis into the front court. Works against Dietz. Now to Carini, holding over her head. Wanted Roberts. Looked for her on the back door and now finally gets it to her. Ooh, Bomb gets away with one, I thought. Here's the three from the corner, high off the iron. Rebound to Walters, but tipped out of bounds off Moon's fingers. As Moon contested to make sure Walters didn't pull it down, but it's still wind up Guilford Ball. Baum and Shiflett will come out. We'll get Dar and Pierce. First time we've seen Pierce tonight. Trigger in. Carini. Oh, wide open three for Roberts. Back of the iron, no good. All box out. No grab of the rebound. Finally, Dietz comes away with it. Dietz going to drive all the way. Stops, pops, it's no good. Blocked. Oh, no, oh. offensive foul. So you, to beat a team like Guilford, you need full contribution. Mm -hmm. Outside, Davis with a crazy shot. Rebound comes down to Moon. Long up court pass to Dietz. Can she control it? And she stepped out of bounds. A little too much, trying to get <laughs> something easy. Mm -hmm. And, and you've got to play under control. Yeah. That, you know, we talked before we went on the air, and I said, you know, teams at this level will do things to beat themselves. Mm -hmm. and it's that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's just kind of a turnover Bridgewater doesn't really need to commit. Into the corner, Roberts has her pass knocked away. It's 
controlled on the outside by Jayla Hinson. Hinson looking to drive on Dar, bounces it down low. Walter spins, puts up the shot, but Hinson comes away with the board and then gets fouled underneath. Again, the offensive rebounds leads to opportunity. It'll be Hinson who goes to the line. One of the few Guilford players without a pretty good shooting percentage from the stripe. She's 5 of 10 on the season. And so it's just not a huge sample size. She sinks the first one. But I think it's important, you talked about Estes, to get her involved here early. Because two games ago she had a great game, and then last game against Wesley and kind of came back to earth. Mm-hmm. Second shot's no good. Pierce goes up and gets the board. Jasmine will bring it into the front court. Goes to Dar left side. Who well, I got to tell you, in warm-ups, did not miss a three. <laughs> yes, yeah, she was on fire. Moon drives all the way. Shot is blocked. Gets it back. Kicks it to the outside. Dietz runs it down. Boy, that was close. Moon now going to try and drive again. No. Dar for three. Good. <laughs> right on cue. Makes me sound like a genius. I appreciate it, Kayla. That didn't hit. That hit nothing but net. Yeah. On the outside with it is Roberts working against Pierce. Walters. Now on the outside, Davis with Dar on her. Looking to get in. Down low to Carini. Carini kicks it outside to Hinson. Hinson drives into the lane. Oh, no. I thought that was a pretty good play. I know that Moon was moving, but it looked like she had the block. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't feel like there was any body there. Oh, man, just stripped it. But from, from the back half where the ref called the foul, he could not have seen that. That's right. He would have seen what looked like yeah. contact. Positioning very important. 15-10, Eagles advantage here with 3.03. And back to the line again goes Jayla Henson. You know, we, with the other thing we talked about is free throw opportunities. And already, mm-hmm. uh, that's kind of a lopsided scenario here. Henson gets the first one to go. And so they are now five of seven. Bridgewater has yet to take a free throw. Not that I don't think they earned one or two down on the mm-hmm. other end. That's kind of been the story for Bridgewater. Committing a lot of fouls and not converting when you do get fouled. 15 to 12. Johnson into the lane. Shot won't go. Rebound. Johnson somehow didn't commit a foul. Bomb from deep. Off the iron. No good. Johnson with another board. Kicks to Shiflet. Her three-pointer off the mark. Look good from here. i got to be honest with you. And a foul is going to be whistled underneath against Guilford. Odd. And it's Carini. Yeah. And that is who Bridgewater would like to get into foul trouble. She's been a force so far on the glass. Johnson with two offensive mm-hmm. boards. But the Eagles got to get something out of it. Johnson's got to hurry. Whoa, how the, and it's stolen away. It should have been five in my mind. Mm-hmm. They were giving him an extra help there. Hinson into the front court. Jayla bounces it to Carini up high. Hands it off. Davis, three behind her. It's good. Holy mackerel. Oh, she can shoot it. Three three pointers for Davis here in the early going, and it ties us at 15. Bomb to Pierce. Her triple off the back of the iron, no good. Davis pulls down the board. Dribbles out of trouble and gets it to Henson. Henson working against Pierce. Pierce pokes it away, and Henson fell down. Ball's on the floor, and the timeout is called. Greeny on the outside. Hands off to Davis. Just shoot. (laughs) Davis on the outside, and she stepped on the sideline. The the fans in the front row over there (laughs) trying to assist the referee. Yeah, they kind of made that call. Eagles defense really stepped up in that possession Mm -hmm. because what you forget because of the timeout was all the hard work they did on the outside against Henson. Johnson and drive. Nope. Kicks it into the corner. I can't I can't blame Estes that much. I thought Johnson was just going to go all the Me way. Too. That's kind of been that's been the MO of this mm-hmm. game, really, is go to the hoop. Yeah. So the Eagles turn it over again. And they're called what? They'll call simultaneous possession. 
on the outside. Coach Flamini, I think, thought one of the refs was going to call it. It looked like she was running out there to call a foul. But instead, simultaneous possession, and the Eagles will take it over. Mary Ruth Shiflett tried to get it down to Estes, and a foul, a reach in on Walters, I would believe. I missed the referee coming here and flashing the numbers. Yes, it is Walters. Her first team's third. Eagles with five team fouls. I don't think anybody has more than one. Pierce almost lost it. Gets it to Estes. Steps back for three. Off the iron, no good. Gets her own rebound. Over to Pierce. Cross-court pass to Johnson. Johnson almost jab step there. Maddie Baum stops, pops. That's off the iron, no good. Henson with the board. And will come the other direction. Henson weaving through traffic. Did she lose it? No. Somehow didn't. And they'll call jump ball again. Henson's dribbling grenades over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the Bridgewater guards and really Jasmine Pierce. She's got active hands. A really good job of getting a lot of deflections. So Charisma Lynn will come back in. She had done a bulk of the ball handling to start the game. She gets it up top to Walters. Walters bounces it outside to Loy. Now Lynn. Lynn has her pass knocked away by Johnson. 13 on the shot clock as Lynn works on the outside. Goes down low to Davis. The ball's knocked away. Davis... Looked mortally wounded for a moment. Pierce set for three. It's good. The freshman. Eagles up by three. The defense has really kept them in it. The outside is Lynn. Uh, Loy almost lost it. Loy drives into the lane. Has it stolen away. Estes all by herself. And she will sail in for the Snowbird. And the Eagles lead 20 to 15. Five straight points reeled off by the Eagles. 20 to 15, Eagles on top. They've got the basketball. And ask Jacob here if he sees anything in the stat sheet that grabs his attention. Lindsey Estes, four or five from the field, nine points. But nothing really else. Boy, it looked like the ball hit the sideline. No call. Guilford is three of 13 from the field, so. And a charge against Estes inside. So that is not effective. That was close to the circle. Yeah, I thought she picked her up inside of the circle. Yeah. Like really well, like far down in there. I, it, it, I agree with that. But uh, what do they say? The, the ball doesn't lie, and I think it did hit the sideline over mm-hmm. here earlier. Although a turnover traded for a foul is not always the best thing. It's Estes first, by the way. Pass down low off the fingertips of the intended receiver, Monell Dunlap, who's checked in. And the Eagles will take it over. So turnover for turnover there. Pierce will bring it into the front court as Baum not out there to start the second half. Uh, second quarter, excuse me. Johnson looks to work inside and trap. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what she saw, but that's Johnson's second. I, I yeah. mean, it's, I was watching, and I, I just missed it. I thought if she was going to call anything, it was going to be a travel on Michaela Johnson. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, well. I am up court pass to Davis. Bounces down low to Dunlap. Eagles close quickly. Now on the outside, Roberts. Roberts picked up by Dar. Oh, and Dar, she shook her, and she sinks the three. Nice little move there. Kristen Roberts. Eagles lead trimmed to two. Pierce on the outside. Goes behind the back, almost lost it. Now gets it to Shiflett. Shiflett, oof. I thought she skidded there. Dar on the outside. Out to Shiflett, won't take the three, instead into the lane. Wild shot, won't go. Looking for the foul. Yeah. Didn't get it. Pretty good defense from, I believe that was Miracle Walters. Front court Lynn with Pierce on her. Goes around the screen, and now they'll switch. And there's a mismatch now after the switch. Huge mismatch. Goes down low, and Pierce is going to get the foul for the reach in. What happened? Yeah. They, they switched on the screen, and 
Jasmine Pierce had to pick up the five foot eleven Manel Dunlap. And Pierce, I think, might be five foot five as she's listed. Bomb will come back in. Dietz is in. Dar will take a seat. Estes stays out there. Estes thought she heard. She had a shift off. Bounce it to Walters. Step back three. No good. Rebound to Dietz. Dietz then gets run into in the backcourt. Bounces it to Shiflet. Shiflet into the front court. You know, break the floor with those hard dribbles. <laughs> Down low to Husky. Her shot's blocked and a foul is called against Dunlap. Quick impact from Diamond Husky. First time we've seen her tonight or this evening. Husky did not play. In the game against Wesley. Husky. Husky showed some flashes in her freshman season. Just didn't see the court enough. First shot off the back of the iron, no good. Husky, a 54% free throw shooter on the year. I think those are the first free throws, at least on the statue yes. I'm looking at. Yes. Oh, that's the first free throw. Second one's good. Second one for Roger shot all night. So. One of two. Eagles up by three. In the front court comes Lynn. Lynn trying to shake bomb. Going to drive. Kicks to the corner. Open shot for Roberts. It's good. Another triple. And I tell you, Guilford's been hot from the outside. Mm -hmm. I think they are now, if I'm doing my math right, four of eight. Mm -hmm. Or are they five of eight? Deets, nice. little, little yeah, floater. Good move from Aaron Deets. You don't see her do that much. She's known no. more to spot up and shoot it. It's nice to see. Deets' second bucket of the night. She had a three earlier. On the outside is Lynn working against Baum. The pass to Davis. Pass tipped away. It'll still be Guilford Ball. But the Eagles have been very active with the hands. Mm -hmm. Claire McCarsky will see her first action. Aaliyah Moon is in there. I think McCarsky's only going to be in there as long as Monell Dunlap is in there. The speed of the game, maybe not fitting Claire's skill sets. And, and I think that that's probably the situation and why Claire didn't get the start as she normally would. And yet, instead, Michaela in there. Shot's no good. Dunlap with the offensive board. But then McCarsky hauls down on the Dunlap miss. Front court they come. Moon for three. That's off the mark. Rebound. Long rebound. Comes down to McCarsky. Husky will put up a three. That's a, an air ball and cannot be saved. <laughs> Good box out by Dunlap. Mm -hmm. Kayla Dar will come in. Husky will take a seat. So you got McCarsky, Dietz, Moon, Dar, and Baum. You're five out there for the Eagles. Charisma Lynn will come across the line. I will say this, uh, Coach Stephanie Flamini for Guilford has a long bench. She does not necessarily use it. She only went nine deep in their last game. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of looks like they've got a decent amount of heads down there now. Oof. Oh. What a drive to the bucket by Roberts. She does not play like a freshman whatsoever. 23 apiece now. Bomb, little stop and go. Has to give to Moon. Cross court almost to Dar. Now back to Bomb. Bomb on the outside. Nice close out by Walters. Her shot's no good, but Moon gets her own board out to Dar. They just, the Eagles just can't get in. That's the thing. Bomb shot is off the mark. Crashing in and out of bounds. It's going to be Eagle ball. Yeah, I think that's kind of why we've seen some success from Lindsay Estes. How can Gilbert not know it's not their ball? Yeah, they threw it out of bounds. There were only two players that had their hands on the ball, and they were both wearing black. Yeah. Yeah, it's just but tough Miracle game. Miracle Walters looks shocked. Yeah. It's a tough game for Aaliyah Moon and Madison Baum. They're kind of undersized. And Guilford's big, even at the guard positions, really. Our hands off the bomb. It just doesn't seem to be room, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, out to Shiflet. Bounces it down low to Makarski into a sea of hands. Bad idea there. And Walters will come across the timeline looking to kick. The, oh, my. Triples off the mark. Long rebound, Makarski. He's been a force off the boards mm -hmm. here early in her playing time. 
Baum will drive. Oh, an offense. Yep. Most definitely. But Baum lowered the. Yeah, that's like a fullback right there. Yep. <laughs> Head down. Baum made it too easy to call. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what she's had to do. You know, she's undersized, especially in this game. And we can kind of see it. Roberts on the outside. Goes to Dunlap. Dunlap. Now driving in. Ooh, pretty shot. Just won't go. And Makarski with another board on the miss by Lynn. I think Makarski's grabbed every rebound on each possession since she's come in. <laughs> Bomb. Out to Shiflet. Mary Ruth. Oh, nice play by Moon. Got sealed off on the baseline, though. Now Bomb. Kicks to Moon. It's not enough of a window. Her shot looks somehow good. I'm not going to tell you that was pretty. <laughs> Dietz won't pull the trigger on the three. Moon, you got, uh, if you're going to take one of those threes, it's going to have to be quick. And here's Dietz three. It's good again. Her second triple of the afternoon. She can shoot it. We know that. I don't know if Guilford does. Dietz with five, and now it's thrown away. Eagles come the other way. Dietz again. Now Moon. Cross court to Pierce. Pierce steps back. Now drives. Shot is up. It's blocked. And a foul. Late whistle, I thought. Mm -hmm, me too. And I, a good move from Jasmine Pierce. She, yes. Ah, she handles it really well. She's got all the moves mm -hmm. with the jab and all that Definitely. stuff. She's fun to watch. She plays good defense. Pierce on the year, a 55% free throw shooter. It's the back of the iron, no good. Eagles have been very good at hitting one out of two. <laughs> Second shot upcoming. Ooh, way off the mark, hit nothing. Oh, and the she pass almost thrown out of bounds. Davis miraculously saves it. Henson to Walters. Just scoops it towards the bucket. Offensive foul. Oh, no. Walters, her third. Guilford barely has any fouls, and she has three. Oh, my. That hurts. Their second leading scorer and leading rebounder. Now, Walters... 11.7 points a game. She had a nice 18-8 and eight effort in her last contest. Moon tries to drive, scoops to Makarski, and she's fouled underneath, probably by Carini, who just checked back in. No, Hinson. It's Hinson's first, and Claire goes to the line. This is where it gets important for the Eagles. Yeah. Where we've seen it. Game in, game out. Kind of been the struggle. Claire, a 61% free throw shooter, and that one's no good. Eagles have now missed three in a row from the line. Yeah, it, these are the opportunities they're giving you. You've got to take them because this is your whole possession. Second one's no oh good either. Goodness. Rebound run down by Moon, who stepped on the sideline. Oh, good hustle from William Moon. Nonetheless, Eagles... 0 for 4 in the last 30 seconds. Free throws. Uh. So the Eagles now 1 for 6 from the line. Get it into Henson. Henson. Drives against Dietz. Almost got a hand in there. Bounces it to Dunlap. Her wild. How can you call a foul on this? Lindsay Estes with the foul. That was that was wild. That was almost over the back. It was over the backboard. Foul on Lindsay Estes. So Dunlap will go to the line. Monell a 36% free throw shooter. No good. These two teams are starting to build a house over here. <laughs> <laughs> Fit very well with the decor yeah. of the Bridgewater mm -hmm. campus. Most definitely. Second shot is good. Uh, much better. <laughs> it's nice to see. 30 to 26. 24. Mary Shiflet. will come in. Estes will take a seat. Estes sitting down with those two personals. Mm -hmm. 
Out of the outside. Dietz. Gets it to Pierce. Pierce. Oh, puts up the shot. No good. Did everything but go down. Davis steals away the board from Claire McCarsky. Gets it to Henson. Henson trying to weave through traffic. Gets it to Davis. Spins. Puts up the straightaway three. It's no good. Nice job of falling down. They're not buying. Who was that pass to? Uh, Jasmine Pierce. Thrown right back away. And then Dietz almost took it away. Back to Henson. Those are those are opportunities. Yeah. Lynn. And it goes off. It's on the floor. And are they going to call simultaneous possession? Bridgewater basketball. And it's the freshman Jasmine Pierce, and she is active on defense. Gosh, she's, she's good to fun to watch one on one. Well, Pierce feeling like she had to do something after that. Yeah. Pass to no man's land. And she did. Got him the ball back, I guess. Just making sure, I guess, the possession arrow was the right way, I guess. <laughs> now they swap it back. Bomb into the lane, puts a shot up. It's good. It counts in a foul. Madison Bomb. She's finally off the snide. Bomb had been 0 for 5 heading into that shot. And she'll get the and one opportunity here. <laughs> she can make some circus shots, can't she? Hints in second foul, and that means Charisma Lynn's rest was quite brief. Mm -hmm. So Bomb gets an and one opportunity here. Now, Maddie on the season has been not so hot from the line, but uh, in their last game, and she misses there. She had a really nice after 10. She was, well, 10 of 18. Shot, rims out, rebound on the floor. Shivlet gets it. It goes behind the back, stolen away. Now knocked to the floor somehow. Out of the mess comes Davis. Ruth Shiflet went behind the back into the yellow yes. defender. Didn't see the second nah. defender. Oh, Woo. almost a carry there. Carini on the outside, hands to Davis. Bounces it. Here's the two-point jumper. No good. And they'll let it go out of bounds. Eagles ball. And Dar and Dunlap are getting talked to about their hand fighting on the inside. <laughs> Shiflet into Bomb with 45 seconds to go in the half. Eagles up by a half dozen. Be nice to have a good possession here. Bomb sees a hole and she has it blocked. She actually got bumped before the shot. I, I thought they could have called something there, but they didn't. <laughs> she almost bumped into the block. Yeah, she got bumped into mm -hmm. the block. And they're going to set the, the clock back up. Or no. So I think they'll wait a second or two to start the clock. No. Dars three, short. Rebound knocked out by Makarski. They get it to Bomb. Bomb to Dietz. Straight away three, no. Shot block, gets it back. Dar, now to Shiflet. Shivlet to Makarski. She'll drive into Karini. Shot's good. Makarski, she's strong. Now you got to play D for 12 seconds. As coming across the line is Lynn. Goes around the screen. Hands off to Roberts. That's a smart choice. She's been really hot. Step back triple. Good. Oh, my goodness. Out to Davis. She was hot early. And then it became the Roberts show. Baum is able to steal it away. Creaney just wasn't quick enough to go after it. Baum on the outside. Gets it to Shiflet. Shiflet. Back to Maddie Baum. Shiflet's open for three. Good rotation and good. Yeah, nice start for the Eagles. Shiflet's first bucket of the afternoon. She'd been 0 for 3 before that. 
including 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. Eagles up by 8. And Roberts on the other end. Sheesh. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, she can answer. Is there an answer for Roberts, who's now 4 of 7 from beyond the arc and has 16 points? Shiflet traveled. Yep. Saw the little feet skid in the lane. Sub, Lindsay Estes into the game. First time we've seen her this second half. And is that Monel, Monel Dunlap? Yeah, First Monel time Dunlap. Seen her. And I'm not and sure early. the conversation on the sideline that they're having with Claire Makarski. I think strictly defensive. And the outside with it. His and Davis. McCarsky will check right back Yeah, in. but they needed the time mm -hmm. to have that extended counseling session. Lynn was wide open. Rebound tapped around and will come down in the hands of Guilford. Roberts almost left it behind. Picks up the dribble. It's on the floor. Shiflet comes away with it. Coming from behind. Picked up the dribble miraculously <laughs> and gets it out to Michaela Johnson. Johnson on the floor. And they'll call a Foul on Johnson? No. no. Jump ball. And it is Bridgewater's <laughs> possession. Jeez. Claire will come back in. Kayla Dar will come out. It's one of the more lenient jump balls yeah. I think I've seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could have let that one play a little longer. They get it into Maddie Baum. 20 on the shot clock as she goes to work. Down to Makarski. She'll dribble underneath the bucket. Kicks it to Estes. Open for the 12-footer and good. Get it in in the corner. It's Henson. Drives in. Puts up the shot. And it's good. Oh, that was, that was a, just whew, that was a nice attack. Yeah. My goodness. Eagles lead is trimmed to four. Moon's open for three. It's good. I was good. It looked a little hot. Mm -hmm. Five-point game now. We've seen the, the Eagles as a whole get into some foul trouble, really. Dar, 17-footer, good. 44-37. Dar, they're not going to let her take the three, but they'll leave her alone mm -hmm. if she comes inside the arc. Nice oh. bounce pass, and Lynn finishes. That was pretty. Back to a five-point contest. Estes, a little short. Long rebound to Dar. Dar kicks it to Shiflet. Now to Estes. Baum looking to drive in. Instead, it's Dietz. Won't take the three. Stops. Pops. No good. Had a wide open. Lindsey Estes on the corner. Lynn looking to drive all the way. And they call a foul. Boy, barely any contact. Eagles lead. Trim to two. 44-42. Baum. Sealed off, went down low to Makarski, who dribbles out of it. Wide open is Dar for three, it's good! Kayla Dar continues to be hot. Eagles She's up. a weapon. Eagles up five. Roberts to Lynn, now to Davis. Davis picks up the dribble. Oh, out to Roberts, open for three. Won't go down, but Dunlap's there to clean it up. Rebound underneath the Lynn, no good. Rebound again on the floor, another chance. Now Dunlap gets it again. Oh my goodness. That was that was unbelievable. <laughs> How many opportunities? Oh my gosh. Eagles just couldn't get it. Shuffle it on the outside. We'll have to give it to Dietz. Now to Dar. Can't take the three. In a little bit of trouble. Bounces it to Shifflet. Now to Dietz. Down low to Makarski. She'll work against Dunlop. No. To Shivlet. Long two. It's good. Two points. Makarski does a nice job finding that pass to the corner. And she's doubled. But she's not one of those players where all you get. Oh, and a boy. As Dar puts a. Dar. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Kayla Dar gave her the old hip check. <laughs> Four fouls whistled against Bridgewater here in the third quarter. None against Guilford. 
Davis from three, no good. Long rebound, though, comes out to Dunlap. Back to Davis. Well, the offensive glass has again become a problem. Ooh, and then a clothesline foul by Jasmine Pierce. One thing the Eagles will do is foul you, no doubt. Well, as we said in the open, a team that's good at drawing them against a team that's good at doing it. <laughs> yep. And that could call for a slow second half. <laughs> it's weird, though. The foul is 5 nothing. Gilford yeah. hasn't committed a foul. Lynn, good. The Eagles will commit him for them. Yeah. <laughs> Lynn now 3 of 4 from the line. Trims the lead to 4. Second shot up coming. That one's no good. Nasties will get the rebound. Pierce front court. Goes to Moon, open for three. It's no good. That looked decent coming out of her hand. Mm -hmm. They race the other way. Roberts all the way, puts a shot up. It won't go down. Dar comes away with the board, has it stolen away by Davis. Boy, they are like swarming bees. Mm -hmm. Davis goes in. Block oh. from behind, but a foul on Jasmine Pierce. So now six fouls against Bridgewater, none against Guilford. And that's Pierce's third. One of the fans stating the, the obvious. <laughs> Not saying he's wrong. All right. Shot won't go. That was all the way Davis. in and all the way out. <laughs> We've seen a couple shots mm -hmm. like that tonight. Yeah, not friendly. Second one is good. And subbing in for the first time is Jade Wilson, a 5'10 freshman. She'll come in to spell Monell Dunlap. Without Carini, this is going to be the switch for Coach Flamini. Dar on the outside. Eagles with a slim three-point lead. Driving the baseline, and shot is up and good. Moon got a step against Hinson, took it right to the rack. And there was no help. Outside, Davis spots from three. That won't go down. Rebound to Estes and a foul. Going to be quickly called against Jade Wilson. Somehow the very first one of the third quarter against Guilford. Estes in the bomb. Eagles could use some strong possessions. Out to Moon. Moon going to go all the way, and she's fouled, and it won't go down. Oh, the ant one mm. would have been sweet, but it just wouldn't come off. Her first step is as quick as any. She is a tough pickup. Emily Loy will check back in. She'll come in for Henson. At the line for Bridgewater, 35, Aaliyah Moon. And I'm positive she is simply saving Miracle Walters for the fourth quarter. Shot by Moon is good. Yeah, she has to be. Walters kind of the center of this Moon. Guilford team. Moon becomes the second eagle in double figure. She has 10. Estes has 11 to lead the squad. Moon hits them both. Eagles up 53-46. Pressure in the backcourt. And Loy comes across the line. It's on the floor. It is still on the floor. Johnson, and it'll be a jump ball. And the Eagles will have it on the alternating possession. Monell Dunlap will come back in. The rest was pretty brief as Jade Wilson will come out, the freshman out of Richmond. Baum with the basketball. Eagles up by seven. Big opportunity here. Baum goes all the way, lays it up. Oh, it won't go down. Dunlap with a flat-footed board. They come the other way. Racing into the front court. Now down low. Knocked away by Baum as they were trying to find Loy streaking to the bucket. And Baum did not allow it. Uh, active hands from the Eagles, what we've seen all night. Lynn will trigger in. For Guilford. Goes way up top to Dunlap. Now outside to Davis. Davis 
around the screen. Gives it up. Oh, no. Roberts straight away for three, and it's good. You've got to defend Kristen Roberts. Eagles have to know where she is. 19 for Roberts. Lead down to four for the Eagles. About 2.30 to go here in this third quarter. Baum will put out from three. Won't go down. Rebound on the floor, and it'll be another tie-up, I think. And are they going to talk foul or no? I think it's just tie-up. Tie-up. And it'll be Guilford Ball. The referees have done a lot of talking in this one. Yeah, more than I've seen. You appreciate them. Appreciate them wanting to get it right. Mm-hmm. So Lynn will trigger in. Pressure in the backcourt. Broken as Loy comes across the line. This is where they lost it last time. Loy hands off, and now a tie-up. Baum got right in there and basically took the handoff. Wow. So the Eagles take it right back. Loy will come out. Hinson will come back in. Jayla, who's gotten a little shorter with her dribble than earlier in the mm-hmm. game. Jayla struggled early, but I think she's found her rhythm a bit. Definitely. They're fun to watch. Aaron Dietz travel. And... What? I thought they were going to call it travel on Dietz. Oh, that's kind of a phantom foul in my mind. I don't even know who it was. I don't either. They're saying it was on. Dietz for three. Off the mark. Long rebound. You know, coming out of it is going to be Lynn racing up court. She's going to blow past a couple of players, lay it up, won't go down, and now another tie-up. Makarski and Davis, and it'll belong to Guilford. We might break the record for jump balls in one quarter. It's impressive. (laughs) Shows how aggressive both defenses are playing. Four-point Bridgewater lead. We're inside two minutes to go here in the third. 20 seconds is what they'll put on the shot clock as Lynn will trigger in. Gets it down to Hinson. Back to Lynn. Was open. Roberts for three. Can't believe she missed. (laughs) I just can't. (laughs) Makarski comes away with the board. Aliyah Moon. We're going to drive all the way. Her shot's up. Won't go. Makarski falls to the floor. Gets it out to Dietz. Dietz cross court to Moon for three, short. Makarski though picks it up. Moon again, no. She'll try and drive, shovels to Makarski. Foul line won't go down. Rebound finally into the hands of Roberts. You do have to like having Makarski out there for the simple fact that she's a rebounding machine. So active. (laughs) Henson looking for a lane. She's got one, shot is up, won't go. Dietz with the rebound. We'll give it off to Moon. Eagles need a bucket. Moon kicks it to the corner. Shiflet for three. Oh, it won't go down. Dietz is there, and she's fouled putting up the shot. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure what Guilford was waiting to happen, but the smaller Dietz split a pair of defenders to get to the basketball. (laughs) It was like three Guilford players looking at each of them to grab it. And Aaron Dietz said, huh, I'll grab it. That's the line for your Eagles. 31. Aaron. Leah Moon will sit for the final minute, smartly. But Estes is out there. Dietz two for six from the line on the season. Nothing but twine on the first one. The Eagles lead is up to five. She will try and make it a half dozen here. She does. It's her into double digits, correct? 55-49, I believe. Yes, that gets her to 10. She's played really well. Great game from Aaron Dietz off the bench. Davis sealed off. Nice move by McCarsky. Now along the line. Oh, and it'll go to Monell, and now a foul inside. I thought there was probably a foul earlier, personally. 31, Aaron Dietz. The Eagles will gladly take that. Yeah, don't call it on Lindsay Estes. And they'll gladly have Dunlap at the line. Dunlap one for two on the afternoon. That's good. Dunlap, who came in shooting 36% from the line, has looked much more sure of herself. I mean, 
and, and decent technique. It's not like you're sitting there saying she doesn't have a chance. Both those shots, very good, and she hit them both. Yeah, you have to think that a couple of those misses, probably just maybe not her best luck. Oh, uh, the kickball. Kick ball. Coach Flamini trying to tell her team, why are you biting on that? <laughs> it's the same thing. Eagles with 22 seconds to work with here. Shiflet gets it way up top. Nope, knocked away by Bill. Uh, Lynn, excuse me. Been a very active set of seats over there, mm -hmm. right where the Eagles are inbounding. They called an out-of-bounds play earlier. <laughs> Not a 11-second difference. Dietz is open for three. Won't go. Long rebound. And it'll be run down and off the leg of Dietz. 21 seconds, shot clock turned off. Uh, you got to think Guilford. I don't know, actually. Roberts is out there. I, I, personally, if she doesn't touch it, I don't know what kind of a possession you're having. Yeah, there you go. Roberts with it on the outside. Bomb on her. Almost lost it, she did. Bomb is going to have a couple of seconds. Hinson trying to run her down from behind. Shiflet with a second left, knocks down the jumper, and that's how the quarter will end. That's huge for the Eagles. 57-51, Eagles at a half a dozen, three quarters in the books. Kind of back and forth. I thought we kept them at bay, especially into that third quarter. Uh, Mary Ruth Shiflet had a huge shot at the end of the third quarter. Um, and if you look, you see our team go crazy. It was a big confidence builder going into the fourth quarter. Um, and it just got the fans energized, too. It was a great game with fans. And, and our team really fed off and, and played off that energy in the gym. Eagles up by nine. Three shots at the bucket. you got to get one, right? Mm -hmm. Davis on the outside. Gives to Roberts. Roberts to Walters. We spent the entire third quarter on the bench. And now a drive by Henson. Shots up. Won't go. But Walters with the offensive board. Wide open is Lynn. No good. Long rebound. Walters. Her shot's up. No good. Finally, McCarsky with the board. Walters active on the glass, but the Quakers can't get anything to fall. Estes to Moon. Moon into the lane. And her pass down to McCarsky. Just was a bad one. I wasn't sure if she was <laughs> yeah. shooting or passing. I don't think she was sure either. <laughs> a little shuffle there, actually, mm. by Lynn. No call. Hinson drives into the front court. Oh, she traveled. Accidentally left the basketball on her hip and took a step. Mm -hmm. Kayla Dar will come in. McCarsky comes out. Monell Dunlap will come in. It's kind of a weird swap up there. Mm -hmm. I think all things being equal, the two coaches would have those two in at the same time, or at least Coach Matthews would. Where was the travel? There, what? What? <laughs> where Where was the travel? Wow. I don't know. I didn't see. Uh -uh. Mm. Roberts. Pass down low. Stolen away by the Eagles. And, uh, and push out on Dunlap. There's no doubt that that yeah. happened. Although, you know. It just shouldn't have had to have been the referee the farthest from it to make that call. I think that's why that was so. Somebody had to make the makeup. Yeah, somebody had the, to. The, <laughs> the phantom travel. Bomb. Long two. It's good. On the line. 62-51. Eagles up 11. Into the front court comes Roberts and a timeout. Coach Flamini. Gives it up. Roberts able to collect it. Took her a second there. Look down low to Dunlap. Shot is up and good. Dunlap, very nice move there. She had really good position. And a nice shot to the bucket. Mm -hmm. She looks like a type of player who might shoot too hard at times, mm -hmm. but had a perfect touch there. Shiflet couldn't get the shot off. 
Eagles lead at nine. Is Moon going to drive all the way? Lays it up. Won't go. Oh, my gosh. Come the other way. Davis bounces it to Walter. Shots up and good. And they are running the floor. This is what the Quakers will do. Seven-point game. Bomb on the outside. Works against Davis. Steps back for two. Another shot. Nine seconds into the shot clock. I don't understand the thought process uh, yeah, there. BC not playing with much mentality. I mean, that's wild as it gets. Oh. <laughs> Splits the defender. Shot won't go. Somehow Walters doesn't get called for the over the back. Kick to the corner. Davis oh, open no. for three. It's Off awful. the mark. Long rebound. Comes down to the hands of Roberts. Walters tries to split the defenders and they'll call a foul against Moon. Moon. That is her fourth, I do yep. believe. McCarsky will come in. Estes will take a seat. And Walters goes to the line. Again, uh, three of four from the line. Shot's no good. Mm. It helps the Eagles. Lead still at seven. Second shot. Somehow <laughs> crawls in. Wow. <laughs> you don't see him many times go over the front edge yeah. like that. Six-point game. Eagles at one point at an 11-point lead. Bomb. Out to Moon. Down to Makarski. Out to Shiflet. Shiflet sees the lane. Bounces it to Makarski and lays it up and in. Pretty ball movement for the Eagles there. Ruth Shiflet, the freshman. Lynn into the front court. Pass is knocked away. So they were looking for Davis on that backdoor cut. 21 on the shot clock, 444 on the game clock. Heels protecting an eight point lead. Lynn bounces it into Walter, stolen away by Dar. Now the Eagles get it to Makarski. Makarski in a Offensive foul against Claire Makarski, clearing out Davis underneath. Eagles going to really use the bucket on that, that trip down the court. Missed opportunities and only eight yeah. seconds go off the clock. That would have never happened, I don't think, if, if Baum would have seen her about two seconds earlier. Makarski was all alone in the front, in the front court. Ugh. Now jump ball as it's capped underneath, but it will still be Guilford possession. But Lynn looking to get it in, goes up to Roberts. Roberts with Moon on her. The outside, Lynn. Now to Davis. Davis puts a contested three up, no good. Moon, flat-footed rebound. Moon into the front court. Gives it up to Baum. Eagles don't have to do anything crazy. Right. That's what I think Coach <laughs> I mean, Matthews is saying. Come on. Let's have a calm possession. Take one deep into the shot clock. Baum to Dar. Straight away three. Too hot. Rebound. Comes down to Roberts. She'll push it up court. Gets it to Davis. Davis stops at the three-point line. Ruth Shiflet flashes out on her. Now Lynn. Over to Walters, Davis down low to Dunlap. Spin, shot is up, no good, blocking foul. That's their 19th make from the line, make it 20. 20 of their 58 points from the foul line. Wow. I think they're 20 at what, 20 of 25, is that right? 20 of 27. 20 of 27. Yeah, yeah. And now I think they're going to, Coach Matthews thought it was crazy. Coach Matthews going a little crazy down there, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure they're going to change it. Me either. She was fairly certain. And they do switch it. 
<laughs> I have to agree with Coach Flamini. If you can't see it, you can't change the call. I agree. Uh, even if it's wrong, if you didn't see it, you can't make a call. Oh, my goodness. Moon's pass goes mm. off the backboard. They say, oh, and then Shivlet steals it back. Nothing crazy. Bomb on the outside. Bomb trying to shake Davis. Natty is going to hold this as long as she possibly can. The team up by only six. Moon will go all the way, lays it up and in. What a move, Aliyah Moon, the left hand. Eagles needed a bucket, I think, there. It's an important possession. Lynn on the outside. Gives it up to Roberts. Roberts around the Walters screen. Kicks it to Lynn. Lynn down low. It's on the floor. It'll go off of Shiflet's foot. Out of bounds. Nice help defense from the Eagles. Ten Ruth seconds. Mary Ruth Shiflet. Ten seconds. Can the Eagles defend this possession for ten seconds? Go way up top. It's Davis. Almost has it knocked away. Davis working against Bomb. Now to Lynn. Lynn has to put up the crazy three. Hits nothing, and it's a shot clock violation. It's not going to matter. Second one, the Eagles mm-hmm. have forced. Yeah, really, in like these last two or three minutes, it seems like. Now this is this is a huge defensive mm-hmm. position, I think, for Guilford. Yeah, this is kind of the this could this one could break it open. No need for Madison Baum. She handles it so well. There's no need for her to really do anything sporadic. Baum. Now inside, two minutes to go. Is going to drive and a little blocking foul going to be whistled on the outside. It's only the second Guilford foul. And that will push the shot clock back up to 20. You like those? Yeah. And I think keep the ball in Madison Baum's hands. You just got to kind of like it with her. Gets it into Baum. <laughs> Coach Matthew saying, wait, yep. wait. A bomb looking to kick to Moon. Moon with 10. Now she, nope, out to Estes. Estes to Shiflet. Her three off the mark. Rebound comes down, though, to Lynn. Lynn going to go up, drives up. It won't go. Rebound on the floor, taken away by Moon. Ah, good defense from Aaliyah Moon straight up. And had to play that mm-hmm. way because of the foul situation. Pass into Estes. <laughs> Nothing crazy from the Eagles. With a buck 20. And the problem when you only commit two fouls is you got so many mm-hmm. to commit before you're forcing free throws. Maddie kicks it to Estes. Her three off the mark. Long rebound, though. Our team was really excited after the game. Um, several players came to me and just said they were really proud to wear the Bridgewater uniform. And I think games um, like our game against Guilford and our thousandth win kind of tied in the alums and people that came before our players. Um, we have a lot of alumni events and alums come in and talk with our team. And I, I think it was just really meaningful, some of the alums chatting with our team after the game and talking about some of their, their memories and tying in current players with alums as well. Davis driving all the way in his Roberts shot won't go down Estes with the board and that's the ball game the Eagles have won and they win program victory number 1000 for the Eagles Bridgewater now two and one so it'll depend on what else happens in the ODAC but what a giant victory for the Eagles here this afternoon, 68-62. It was really special. We had several alums at the game. Uh, They came and they chatted in our locker room um, to our players afterwards. And um, I just, I had several players come and say, man, I'm really proud to wear the Bridgewater uniform. And that was really special for me. And I think it was special for the alums to hear that too. Um, We always talk about our special alumni connection here at Bridgewater. Um, And it was, it was, but the proof was in the pudding that day. Uh, it was just a, a really exciting day for, for both alums and our current players. Um, just creating that special connection is something that is very valuable here at Bridgewater. You know, they played really tough competition early. And, uh, I think-